What's up, BCK family? It's your boy, Box Chevy King. We on our way to Nashville, to that TSU. We had a long weekend with my boy, Sugar Man. He was in Chevy Land. He showed off, you know, um, he brought T-Rex. It went ham, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm the first one he let me drive, you know, one of the fastest Chevy. Salute to you, my boy. You're doing your thing with T-Rex. I got my, uh, Demon in the back, you see it? I got my gang. I got my son Chrissy, Jordan. So, you know, I'll keep you updated once we get there. It's a car show. There's gonna be a lot of a lot of people there, so I'll cut you all back. Shit when they try to do, you know what I'm saying? 
and bills and shit, they go too far. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing about having something that's gonna look classic for a long time versus that's something that's gonna be trending for like the day or something. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be all oh, that shit hot today, but tomorrow that shit gonna look super cheesy and stuff like that. So my boy Lou, man, he definitely doing it right, doing it the right way, man. That way your shit look fresh and clean forever. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, y'all see me coming around, man, to the front, man. He got that Tierra grill with the clean bumpers. Got just enough gold on the car, you know what I'm saying, to accent the rims, not overdone. You know, a lot of people do the whole gold bumper, all this gold, you know what I'm saying, and then it just, it started looking too trendy. If you do the right things right, like he did with the Tierra grill, it's, it's gonna look timeless, and that's what you always wanna do when you build a car. Get you something that's gonna look timeless, man. Even the emblem got a little gold touch to it, so yeah, doing the right things right, man. But you know it's got the Euro clip on it because it's the 90. Yes sir, it is a 90. Got that nice paint on it. What's the name of this paint? Oh, what color is it? Um, it was, uh, it was a cherry. Mix. Yeah, it was a little bit, almost close, but it was a little lighter, bro. He just spiced it up. Oh, a okay, bit. yeah. And that's the good thing about man being creative, man. You know what I'm saying? They can give you a base and you do a little something to it and man come up with your own mix, man. So that's basically what he got right here, man. Something that look real exclusive. We got subscribers pulling up, man, all the time looking at the Chevys and shit like that. People love these type of cars. So, you know, anytime you rolling in something like this, you definitely gonna be getting that attention, man. So just know that. Gang, yeah, that's what it is, man. So we definitely uh looking at something, man. We um got the disc brakes on the front, you know what I'm saying? Now, as far as the power plant, we gonna come back to that, man, cause that's spicy, man. I wanna show y'all that. I know y'all probably already know, but hey, I ain't seen it yet in person, so I already know it's something spicy, but I can hear it when it started this thing up. But you know, he got the opera lights right here on the side, man. He got the roof. It's uh, brains definitely blow it out. Got the little accents on the handles. You know what I'm saying? And it gotta be an LS Braun, man. All them ball heads, man, they cool, but it, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it is what it is, man. Ain't gotta be said, man. But you know he got the proper tuck on it with the seven inch lip. Got them ARP studs, man. That way your wheels ain't falling off or none of that, man. Yes, sir. Everything look clean, notched up right. You know what I'm saying? Tucked in right. Y'all see he got the proper squat. If, now the thing with these box Chevys, man, a lot of people don't know is if you don't have these cars on a proper stance, they just don't look right, man. You know what I'm saying? Some people be having them too high. Some people even have them too low. I done seen people who have them too low and they don't look right, you know what I'm saying? The, the stance is what make the ride look the best, you know what I'm saying, out of anything. You know? So you always wanna make sure you get your stance, stance set up correctly. Coming to the back, you already know, man. Just a classic design, nice chrome bumpers. You got music in the trunk? Yeah. Oh, okay. We got to see that, man. We're going to pop the trunk for y'all. Now, we also got a, a third brake light. I think I left the key in here. Yeah. Let me grab the key. They got the button. Turn the key forward and just uh, pop the lock, bro. Turn the forward and do what? Right there. They got a little button right here. Oh, okay. See, that's that 2022 shit right there. <laughs> 15 Mojos. Ooh. Memphis. Mojos. Memphis, hey, had to be Memphis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But uh, I ain't get a chance to hear the sounds yet, so I'm gonna hear the sounds. Unfortunately, y'all can't really appreciate the sounds because the copyright, man. So yeah, but I'm gonna get to enjoy it though. But you got the big battery over here, man, just so, you know what I'm saying, you can get the proper power going to the amps so that we can get the bass sounding right, man. But you can't have a box Chevy without a big ass box in the trunk, man. It just, it's just don't seem right, man. It ain't official, man. Got the nice canvas top on top. You know what I'm saying? It's the only way to go. Anybody with the vinyl tops, man, take that shit off, man. You gotta do the canvas, man. Vinyl, that's over with. It's over with, bro. That's like riding wishbones mm -hmm. or, or choppers. That's over with. No more spinners, man. Put the spinners up, all right? But yeah, as far as the door panels, everything nice, clean, crisp, OG. Now, the thing about boxes, man, y'all, a lot of people don't know. If you got clean interior in a box, you don't have to swap it out. You know, you don't have to swap it out. You can add your console, add your little some kick pods or something, maybe do the rear deck, you know what I'm saying? But as far as swapping out your original velour seats in a box or some of them got the leather option, don't do it, man. Keep your nice velour, man, because this is actually timeless. Timeless, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? That's how we rocking right here. We got the nice, crispy velour, the carpet, everything look good. Everything look official. Dash pad official.
official. And we got the custom console right there with the, you know, little custom designs and stuff in there. That is actually nice. That's a nice ass console. Oh, do it? Yeah. Now, you know we got the matching steering wheel. That's mandatory, which also got the matching wrap around the outside with the shifter. You know what I'm saying? And we got the actual uh, tilt. Nice double den radio with the TV and everything in here. Is this an iPad, a mini yeah, iPad? Okay, got the mini iPad holder in the uh, actual center console with the cup holders and everything. Man, this is nice as hell. Of course, like I said, man, roof is old. Lit up. That's gangster right there. That rear deck too, lights up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's gangster right there. Y'all already know, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have the brains blown out in a box, man. That's one thing about a box, man. You gotta have them brains blown out, man. So he got the roof in there, power roof. You know what I'm saying, adjustable. Power, windows, locks, all of that, man. You pretty much gonna get all of that pretty much with the LS option, man. So you ain't really gotta worry about that. This one look like, is this the factory dash? This is an upgraded dash, yeah, right? Digital dash, yeah, digital dash. Yeah, this is a digi dash. Yeah, it's it's a nice, clean, simple digi dash, man. I know back in the day, man, when the digi dash first came out, they had them like ugly ass looking blue. Man, that shit used to look so terrible. I used to be like, dude, why would you put that shit in your car? So these are nice, more modern looking, man, analog looking dashes, and they still digital, and they uh, just look and fit the cars a whole lot better than the other ones. That was terrible. Man. This is a nice, clean ass example. Y'all know what it is, man. It's time for us to take a look at that engine, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all already see what that is, man. That's that big 6-2 fire-breathing joint right there, man. This right here, I heard this thing. This mug running, man. And, you know what I'm saying? Listen. It sound good. I'm trying to find out what type of mufflers he got on this thing because I want to put them on track, man. Y'all know I just put some mufflers on track, but I like the way these sound better, man. The cam, definitely on point, man. Whoever built this motor and installed it did a real good job. Real nice, clean install. Also, they color match the intake, the valve covers, you know what I'm saying? Just everything look clean, man. We got the polished brackets and everything. Just a real clean install. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be having wires everywhere when they install in the LS, man. And that shit look like crap, man. Look like the whole spaghetti pole going on underneath the hood. You definitely don't want that, man. So you definitely want somebody who know what they're doing. Who can not only put the performance out of the engine, but also the install is just as important. The person who can finish the best is the best, you know, at the end of the day. And that's not just with the power. The install has to be complete. All right, so yeah, you definitely you want to definitely make sure you got all the right parts, components, and it's got to look good, look clean. Engine compartment looks nice and tidy, nice and clean, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's pretty much it, man. As far as the trans, I'm not sure what type of trans you got in. Got the 4L80, so you got the right trans, 4 to 6 two, you know what I'm saying? You know, the other option really is only the 4L60 and the 400, but the 4L80 is the king trans for this build. So he got the top of the top, you know what I'm saying? No lacking, no corners cut on this build. So yeah. Now, y'all already know what time it is, man. Time to take this bad boy for a ride, man. Let's get out of here. Yeah, man, your boy Bob Chevy King doing it again. Yes, sir. With another famous YouTuber. Let's get it. Wait, man. Ooh -wee. That sound is everything, y'all. Y'all don't even know. Man. Yeah, and that cam hitting right, man. It's got the right amount of loop and everything. You know what I'm saying? Now, we ain't finna go crazy, man, like Sugar Man, y'all. We we own some old crews and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna drive his shit like I drive my shit. Y'all watch my channel. Y'all know I love my cars, man. I ain't finna tear my shit up. I ain't finna tear his shit up that way. Feel real good and the throttle.
bottle was wine, so on point. Box now, man. I definitely gotta get me a box. 